Hello everyone and welcome to episode 13 of The Small Village and the second episode of today. And now we are moving in Martha and George. I say we are moving them in, but they are actually the founders of this village. They were the first people here, the first couple. And Martha and George loves books. And since the school started in the village a few years ago, there was not always a school here. But when there were no school, Martha was the one teaching children different subjects. And math and English and science and religion and mostly like gardening and making a sustainable lifestyle, teaching them how to make a sustainable life. And in here, <coughs> downstairs, there will be lots of books, because this is the house where the kids normally come after school to study. And George and Martha, sorry, can you see this little room up here? It's actually functional. I tried it and my test sim can walk upstairs, sit on the chair and read. So I just kept it. I just wondered in the beginning, what can I do with that tiny little square? Just one tile up there. But it actually worked as a functional little square or a tile. Well, anyways, back to Martha and George. Martha and George loves books, like I said, books, and they often go into San Mashuno when there's this flea market and they buy books. They bring them back home and everyone in the village can borrow them or buy them if they like to. And the kids, they really love being at Martha and George house. So up here on the top floor, uh, Martha and George has their own bathroom and sleeping quarters. So I'm just putting in a base game toilet, a sink from outdoor retreat and a small shower attached to the walls. And it's from Snowy Escape, yes. So it's a really simple bathroom upstairs. And downstairs will be a kitchen and living area and lots of bookshelves. So the young people of the village, sometimes the adult as well, they come over and they just sit and read. And they sit and talk and even when George and uh, Martha sometimes take a siesta or a nap upstairs. Their door is always open. And the flooring is, is it, is it called vinyl? No? I don't know what it's called. In Swedish it's called vinyl. Or is it? Yeah, it must be called that. Yes, I think it is. And this pattern on the floor is actually one very similar to what my grandmother used to have in her bathroom. And since I am born in the 70s, I'm old, <laughs> um, the colors of the 70s, as many of you know, were like brownish, orangey, yellow, reddish, um, all my clothes were knitted in brown and yellow. And so this floor just brings me back to my childhood. <clears throat> and we have a bed from Outdoor Retreat, I think as well, and a little dresser for them both. And now we are looking for some cute lamps to put on top of the dresser, I think. 
Yeah, that's cute, but that was not the one I was looking for. Oh, I like that one. That's a lighthouse. The lamp that looks like a light. This is the lamp I'm looking for. It's old looking and it's cute. But I really want both of them. Maybe I can put up a shelf on the wall next to the toilet door so we can put the little lighthouse on a shelf. Hmm? Just a plain ordinary shelf. Because when you get older, your vision is not what it used to be. So you need lots of lights to see where you're going and what you're doing. And I actually do think that I put a desk, not, no, maybe not a desk. It's like a counter, but you can't sit next to that one. So you need it to be, a, why am I doing this? Can't I see that I grabbed the wrong counter? Oh, maybe that one instead. Uh, Color-wise, it fits better to the walls. Now you can put a computer on it, a laptop, and... No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that again, please. Just make it normal size again. And then we can have a small stool so that they can sit there and look for books. In Sweden, we have um, a website that's called Blocket. It's where you can buy secondhand stuff. People sell their bikes, their books, their computers, everything on Blocket. Um, it's like a thrift store on the internet. And maybe that's what Martha and George are doing on their computer, looking for different kinds of books. Because you can like make the salesperson post the items that you buy home to your house, to your own mailbox, and you can just buy anything you like on Block It and pay for it by PayPal or something, and then you will receive it in your mailbox if it's size wise, wise uh, doable of course oh and now let's take this it's sort of a it's a fish so i think it's from uh, i actually don't know maybe it's from cats and dogs it fits that world at least now what? Oh, music. We need music. I listen to music every single day, like multiple hours a day I listen to music. And I actually listened to a song this morning that made me cry my eyes out. I don't know what it was. It was just so beautiful. It was sort of a lullaby and it's the name of it was sleep song like secret garden or something it was beautiful so i just cried my eyes out sometimes music just hits me and i just i can't stop crying well let's go downstairs instead of talking about crying uh, this is where i'll put the kitchen this cute old fridge and old counters and this time I actually think that I'll go matchy matchy on the counters this old stove from realm of magic yeah the kitchen will go on oh no no now it's time not one more counter it's time for a trash can and a sink from Snowy Escape. Oh, you should have a window down there so you can look out while you're doing the dishes. And with some nice windows, you will have a lot of light too. Do I put shelves or, oh, 
units upstairs. Oh, no. I'll grab those from base game. And from... That's not from cottage living. It's from that country kitchen kit. Hmm? That's kind of cute. And now I want to use these shelves, but I just... I tried and I tried and they didn't fit properly. So I took that little shelf from Tiny Living, I think it is. I normally put that in bathrooms, but that little towel is also good in the kitchen. If you're grabbing a hot pan or maybe we can pretend that there is spices in those jars. But there is one of those things that you use when you shower. That wasn't good. And knives, of course, you need knives. And a coffee machine, a pink one, that's cute. And curtains, of course, we need some curtains. Oh, they wouldn't clip. Mm. Yeah, maybe the ones from Blooming Rooms kit could work down here. Maybe if we size them down. Yeah, see? worked perfectly and a small dining table and bookshelves and a couch and we will have actually a second bedroom not bedroom bathroom down here too and I put my cookbooks up and a poster that when you uh, search for the word cook you get that poster Maybe it's like a poster for a cooking show or something. And a small place to sit, both for dining and later on for reading or studying. And since Martha was an old, she's not a teacher, but she acted like one. Uh, before the school and a regular teacher came along. So she is very helpful for homework and since she's old she has actually been through a lot in her life and you should actually appreciate the older generation in life because they have so much experience and they can teach you so much. Back in the days when people lived together for generations, old people took care of the young people or the kids and they taught each other. The young people taught, thought the, taught the old people and the old people taught the young people stuff that they need to know and if we would appreciate our elderly now a days, I think we could learn a lot from them. And I think that we actually miss out on a lot when we do not socialize over the generations. Do you guys know what I'm blabbering about? I hope that you do. Well, now we have decorated the bathroom with this cute little mirror. It looks like a smiling cloud and we have the university shower and we have a towel and a small window from uh, cottage living or at least that's what I want to put up on the wall because in a wet room you really need to be able to open a window from time to time so you can air it out and in the beginning I wanted to have different bookshelves down here but I changed my mind after a while and I took the same sort of bookshelves but in different colors oh I like these they look adorably messy and they come in different colors you need you see now I just line up a lot of different bookshelves because I haven't decided which one to use yet the one closest to the door is from werewolves and I sort of like it 
but I do like this one that I am currently changing colors of on to. Oh, sometimes the small words just don't come as easily. And this is a couch or a sofa from Journey to the Two that I like never use, but I think they match pretty good with the kitchen table color wise. And a small TV. We can pretend it's only educational programs on that TV. And now I take away that one from the bookshelf from Werewolves and I change it to this bookshelf. I don't know where I took it from. What, what pack is it from? But it's so skinny and that really suits the vibes here because that's a lot of books so people can come in sit on the couch or watch some TV read a book or study or just sit down here and talk because Martha and George were never blessed with kids so they absolutely adore to have little feet running around in their house and plants lots of plants and I will find that cute little sign uh, that you normally have outside bookstores. It took me a while, so I really hope that I edited that away. Oh, and that cute little thing, that pot that looks like a little elf or gnome nest, like a little house of a mushroom and a staircase and everything, that's really, really cute. And now we are looking for the sign. And here it is, a small, no, 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 it's supposed to be out there, yes. Hmm, what else can we do? <coughs> Maybe a rug or something? Or something else in the kitchen? I honestly don't remember. Oh well, at least now we are looking for rugs. Oh, that rug from Werewolf is beautiful. And now I know that I took it under the staircase. But I want it to look like it's cut off. And a small rug in front of the sink. And maybe some kind of artwork above the TV. Yes, that's a beautiful painting from Cats and Dogs. Hmm, another rug in the living room or the seating area or whatever you want to call it. Hmm, what else, what else? Curtains. Hmm, now what? Well, I just want to thank you for watching yet another episode of my blabbering and welcome you home to Martha and George and the little bookstore. I hope to see you tomorrow again. Take care.